Welcome to today's episode of Marine Science Facts, where we will explore the major threats to coral reefs. The factors influencing the survival of coral reefs vary globally and regionally. Globally, anthropogenically caused climate change is the main threat, while, locally it can be a variety of different impacts. Climate change can affect coral reefs in a number of different ways. The most severe threat, however, is global warming. The increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere causes the ocean to take up more and more heat from the atmosphere. Coral polyps are organisms living relatively close to their upper level of thermal resilience. When temperatures increase, their essential symbiotic relationship suffers, which will eventually lead to shrinking, dying, or expelling of their endosymbiotic algae, called zooxanthellae. This process is referred to as coral bleaching and will be addressed in more detail in another video. Coral bleaching is detrimental to corals as the symbiotic photosynthetic algae provides most of the coral's nutrients. Another factor deriving from the uptake of atmospheric greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, is ocean acidification. An increase in pH levels. As coral reefs form their skeletal structures out of calcium carbonate, an increased pH can disturb the skeleton secretion and make corals more vulnerable to diseases, breakage, and erosion. Another factor, which can be considered as a mixture between global and local influence, is changes in precipitation along with nutrient input from terrestrial sources. Water bodies that flow into the ocean and rainwater carry nutrients into the coastal waters. Changes in precipitation due to climate change can interfere with the nutrient balance and additionally introduce contaminants and pollutants into the marine environment. On the other side, however, industries, agriculture, wastewater, and other runoff also contribute to the phenomenon of nutrient over-enrichment. At first stage a massive increase in phytoplankton, micro, and macroalgae will develop but after mortality of the algae it sinks to the ground. The decomposition process takes up all the oxygen in the water and causes huge hypoxic or anoxic zones across some ocean basins like the Mississippi River Estuary, the Gulf of Bengal, or the South Chinia Sea. Another major threat would be fisheries. The main causes are overfishing, which causes an ecological imbalance in the ecosystem, as fish and commercial benthic organisms play a vital role in the health of coral reefs and destructive fishing methods, where single colonies or large areas of corals are being broken and destroyed. Pollution. When we talk about pollution, we have to take a large variety of impacts into consideration. The main influences of pollution however would be sedimentation, nutrients, pathogens, toxic substances, trash and microplastics. These introduced pollutants and contaminants can cause a variety of different effects on coral reefs but are present in all coral reefs around the world. Coastal reefs are more affected than remote ones, however. Another problem, which is a consequence of anthropogenically caused ecological imbalances and nutrient over-enrichment is excessive predation. Crown of thorns sea stars are coral-eating starfish, which have been observed in outbreaks reaching massive population imbalances. They can eat up an entire ecosystem. Other dangerous coral-eating organisms are for example gastropod snails such as Drupella. Another major local threat would be tourisms, boat activity, pollution, habitat destruction, and many more influences are connected to tourism and can cause a variety of different alterations and degradations of the marine environment. Approaches such as ecotourism have been successfully implemented in many places and can play a crucial role in reversing this factor. The last and definitely one of the most important factors is the interconnectedness of coastal ecosystems. While coral reefs are often seen as powerful and solitude ecosystems, they, in fact, are closely connected with seagrass and mangrove ecosystems. Their interconnectedness provides the physical, chemical, biological, and ecological basis for each other to thrive and survive. Unfortunately, however, many seagrass and mangrove ecosystems nowadays are being destroyed and face their very own threats. 
leaving the adjacent coral reefs alone and even more susceptible to their threats. All in all, these are the major threats to coral reefs. However, different regions can have different local stressors and suffer for other threats as well. Coral reefs are vulnerable ecosystems but their existence is vital and crucial to all marine animals and to all living organisms on Earth including us. If you want to know how we can successfully save coral reefs from extinction make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed today's content give it a thumbs up and if you want to learn more interesting facts about the ocean, don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to hit the comment section below for any video recommendations.